Well, a busy stretch of West Jackson Street uh, will be getting a much needed spruce up very soon. 12 News' Kayla Thompson shows us where it's going to look a lot different. The Jackson City Council has voted to give the area from Prentice Street to I-220 some much needed attention. It's four lanes, we're going to reduce it down to three. And we're also going to basically uh, widen the sidewalk, so it'll be basically a, a combined trail, a multi-use trail for people to utilize, ride bikes or, or walk. So very pedestrian friendly, but also ADA compliant. Councilman Charles Tillman says these improvements are something he's been fighting for for a while, and he's glad change is coming. You let something go for so long without being maintained, it, 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 it take a lot to bring it back. So it has the ear of the the mayor, the, my council colleagues, and the community. Now we hope we really get the air of investors. And the fight against blight doesn't just stop at improving street conditions. Down over 100 old houses between uh, in that area out to 220 Highway. We're going to do the utilities, sidewalks. It's, it's really going to look good. Councilwoman Virgie Lindsay says improving this area opens up better opportunities for the future of the entire city. People could actually um, live so close to downtown that they could live in this area of West Jackson, ride their bikes to work or take the bus to work, and it is very accessible. Dr. Williams encourages people to get out and enjoy the area once the improvements are complete. Utilize this, this area, utilize this corridor to walk along this this new sidewalk. It, if they want to go to the zoo, they, can, they have access and it can be safe going there. Improvements could begin as early as February. In Jackson, Kayla Thompson, 12 News.